So right now it's like 9.30 on this day that I got my motorcycle. And uh, there's a couple things that is also significant about today. Um, and I just wanted to cover that. Um, but before I go into that, um, I just want to say how appreciative I am of the fact that um, so many people uh, was a part of this endeavor today more than ever um and it 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 was the most comforting and like i i don't know i i can't describe that word but the image of having a group of friends in the car headed to a location solely for me um to help me accomplish a childhood dream and like it, as we were in the car I, I I was just consciously aware of what was happening like these people are here to help me do this thing that's not really important but it is important because it matters to me and they're helping me do this thing that matters to me and like I don't. I don't want to sound gay, but I just. I felt a level of like connection that just amazes me. Like it. It almost restores my faith in humanity. Almost. Um, and uh, I'm just really, really. Like that's not something I will forget. Like this day in itself is significant because I got my bike, but the way I got it and the fact that Yusuf uh, suffered a ticket um, in, in in an effort to uh, help me, and also we faced that breaking incident on the highway uh, where it was really freaky because he he was like he noticed it and like I I could see it on his face that something was seriously wrong because. I was sitting on the shotgun seat and he was like uh, pulling the, um, or um, he was slowing down and he was tapping the brakes and, and then he pulled the emergency brake and then like, you know, it was just, it was just a freaky part of today and um, so basically that, that was awesome. But what I wanted to share with you today is that, um, or right now more specifically, um, is that my mind has been troubled for a long time because or over a girl and um, it's kept me up at night it's it keeps me up at night like like crazy and um, this girl uh, has like I guess it's not her fault or whatever but I'm just saying that um, like she's like I just couldn't can't get her off my mind and like it's just it's been like living hell um even as I started this master's program where I knew that my education was so critical to the future of me and all those people that like will depend on me and um all those people not only back home at my house because I'm living like near campus, but like back home, as in back in my country, where where it's just far, far worse, and um, it's just so many people that depend on me, whatever. And how did I get there? Whatever. Um, the point is, um, I I couldn't focus because of her, or not because of her, but because because I was just so deep um, into her, both physically and emotionally. Um, anyway, um, but, um, I told myself that, you know, once, once I, I just needed something to hold my life together to, uh, keep me going and pushing and I wish she could have been here to just kind of encourage me to continue school. Like that would have been like awesome. Like just her just being by my side and being here would have been more than you know like she wouldn't need to do anything physically just like be here 
with me mentally and just like when I needed her but she's not so that troubled me and um but now um now that I have this other solid thing in my life I feel like I can give her the space that she needs from me um because I've been like calling her like at least five times daily texting her like every chance I get and um it's funny how it all started like she used to text me a lot when we first met I didn't reply that much and then tables turned and I started texting her she started texting me and that that was kind of that phase where we were both kind of in the relationship um and then I started texting her more and the more and more I started texting her the less she started replying and now it's got to the point where she just completely ignores me so um like yeah, when I call her I never expect her to pick up I, like, ah. I just need her to know that I'm thinking about her um but anyway it keeps me up at night until like past definitely past midnight like one two last night it was until one so um and and then the next morning my entire day is messed up because I didn't get sleep or whatever and I continue to miss like physiology even though I'm doing great in physiology um but it just like completely like it would have like if she was here it would have been like this one sided love thing it's not it's not healthy so anyway um the reason that i say that is because now i can give her that space and uh let her be and let her live her life and um come back to me if and when she feels necessary like I don't have to be obsessed with her anymore because of my bike. And so today after getting my bike, I sent her this text that I want to share and it's um it was to like to put all my thoughts into one text and uh send that off as like kind of like a like I finally understand or I finally have the strength to um not bother you all the time or whatever so here's that text it's pretty long um darling it's amazingly funny how our, our relationship has been since the first day we met that fateful summer in that library we've gone through our shares of ups and downs and downs and ups at the end of each stage of our interaction we've grown from friends to more than friends to best of friends I've never shared this with you, but you were my best friend for a long while. Just didn't want you to know. Sometimes I'm charmed by all that we've been through together. Sometimes I'm nost I'm nos nostalgic. Nostal nostalgic for our past and all of the time I miss you. But you know all of that. You've become something more to me than a human being. You've become the concept of joy and inner bliss. For some reason, you just make me happy. I need you in more ways than I am I was afraid to say, but I know that you have to live your life and you may not share the feelings I have for you. I just don't know how to let go of you. You've become a vital part of me. Love you always, your Sal. So uh, I sent this like at 3:30, um, when like a couple hours after I got, I got my text and I got, I mean, my bike and I got home. So, um, so and now I, I can can let her be at peace and uh, with all of that done because she knows everything I could possibly tell her um, and. Now, she can just think or whatever without me harassing her, but um, that's that, and um, I, I I feel so much at peace now today, um, and, and I'm actually gonna go to sleep early and go to physiology tomorrow, so which is a big step. Haven't been there uh, since like the second week of school, and now it's like the middle of the semester, so. Um, Wish me well. I'm about to start a new journey and be someone awesome. So.